1 Corinthians chapter 5. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and of a kind that does not occur even among pagans. A man has his father's wife and you are proud. Shouldn't you rather be filled with grief and have put out of your fellowship the man who did this? Even though I am not physically present, I am with you in spirit and I have already passed judgment on the one who did this just as if I were present. When you are assembled in the name of our Lord Jesus, and I am with you in spirit, and the power of the Lord is present, hand this man over to Satan, so that the sinful nature may be destroyed, and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast, that you may be a new batch, without yeast, as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with bread without yeast, the bread of sincerity and truth. I have written you in this letter not to associate with sexually immoral people, not at all meaning the people of this world who are immoral or the greedy and the swindlers or the idolaters. In this case, you would have to leave the world. But now I am writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother but is sexually immoral or greedy, an adulterer or a slanderer, a drunkard or a swindler. Such men do not even eat. What business is it of mine to judge that those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? Expel the wicked man from among you.